Sounds 2011 and joining me is the amazing Peaches. Hello. Hello. Now, let's first bring attention to your amazing costume here. Yeah. It's basically like a, a, a bodice but made of boobs and Barbie heads. Yes, Barbie heads and each Barbie has um, their hair individually um, sculpted. Wow. And this was made by my dancer. Yeah. Who, um, who lives in Melbourne. Yeah. Her name is Jess Daly. Okay. It's, it's quite, quite funny. I was in London um, last week and I was at a bar called The Friendly Society and I'm just having a chat with my friends. I looked up on the ceiling and there were all these Barbie dolls stuck to the ceiling but with their legs like spread wide open. I was like, yeah, you can have a lot of fun like, with Barbies. A lot of Barbies vaginas. <laughs> a lot Do of Barbies balls. have vaginas? No, no, it's got this weird like smooth area. Yeah, smooth. It's kind of bizarre. So, I mean, while we're on the subject, let's talk like about, I mean, obviously music is definitely an art form, but some of the costumes and everything that go into it. So how important is that to you? To me, the costumes are part of the entertainment because you're not just up there, you know, let's face it, you're not just up there for yourself. You could stay home and do it. So yeah. um, I uh, I prefer to entertain, yeah, so. So apart from your Barbie boob costume. Um, Actually, this is, you know what, my luggage was lost. I didn't have it for five days. Oh, I played it. You know, the Falls Festival twice, yeah. and I played at, um, in Tasmania for New Year's Eve. Yeah. And um, in uh, outside of Perth. Yeah. In, uh, where were we? Yeah. Bustleton. Bustleton. Yeah. Okay, even and I haven't heard of that. And, and, and I, I didn't have any costume. It was very lucky that my uh, dancer just said, oh, I made you this, you know. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So. Save the day. Yeah, save the day. Yeah. But that's really cool. At what point in your life did you kind of get the bug for performing and the bug early on, that's yeah. for sure, you know, I used to like, at cousins' weddings and stuff, I was like, I want to sing, I want to mm. sing, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and yeah. were you a drama teacher, I read somewhere, um, I, t teacher? I taught kids, yeah. yeah, I taught kids, so, yeah. what was that like, were they nice to you, um, they... no, you know, I learned a lot about uh, performing from kids, because if they don't like what you're doing, they just like pull your hair or jump mm. on you, so, you know, you're a brave, brave yeah. woman to take yeah. that on, no, it, they're worse than a punk rock crowd, for sure, yeah, yeah. To Germany. So, what was it about Berlin that sort of appealed to you and made you want to go and, and oh, even work there? I mean, I got interest from a small label, so I thought I'd try it out. Now I'm still there after 10 years. So. Do you love it there? Yeah, yeah, it's great. Tell me about. I mean, I've never been, so tell me about the music scene there. Oh, the music scene's great. It's more electronic based, and um, there's also a really great art scene and a really great performance scene and a great theater scene. And, People are into it. Yeah. Yeah, they go for it. Cool. Um, now, obviously, a few years ago when you released Father Fucker, there were people that were like, oh, you know, I guess a lot of people would have been like, oh, you're just doing that to, you know, for shock value. Like, what was your kind of take on the whole thing? Um, because of the word motherfucker, and it was used so often, especially in hip hop and everyday language, so people had forgotten what it really meant. And so I just thought I'd twist it around and show it as the same thing by saying father fucker. Yeah, good on you, because it's true. Like, Let's mix it up a bit. And I read that you are going to be in a movie, Ivory Tower. I already, right? Yeah, I already did that movie. That's uh, Chili Gonzalez's new album, and he made a movie also. Okay. And um, I also uh, did my own opera this year based around uh, 24 of my own songs. It's called Peaches Does Herself. Right. And it's a full scale opera. It's fantastic. Wow. Yeah. I directed it myself and wow. did the whole concept and I starred it. So. Would you call yourself a workaholic? Um, I just like to have the time and keep busy and that's how I enjoy myself. So yeah, I also did um, Jesus Christ Superstar as a one woman show. Yes, yeah, I know. I read that you had there was yeah. some trouble. People didn't want you to do it as a one woman. No, I, I think it was more like you know they want to make a lot of money when they put on the musical and this was more of a like bring it back to artistic uh, stripped down version. Right. Not peaches stripped down like don't wear any clothes, but just I wanted to show how great the music is and how it tells the story. Yeah. Yeah. Do you miss it? 
when you're not in the studio. It's no, it's just good. It's, it's good to do it all, you know, have its time. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, we look forward to Thank the you. next offering from you. Thank you so much for chatting with us. Thanks. And have an amazing set and a very